Hello everybody, my name is Jacob. Thank you for checking out Xsanity. And welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. And we left off in the last episode, we were about to go explore the morgue. Uh, because, uh, scary poison, poisonous fungi. Uh, the antidote for which I assume is in the morgue. Um... And I assume I'm going to be putting the antidote in this glass jar, and I don't really know about that because I have not washed this jar since I picked it up. And since I picked it up, it has contained both oil and acid. So that's real fucking special. The purpose of the inner sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Well, all fucking righty then. So how long has Alexander been... Studying these fucking orbs. Oh, <laughs> cool. This room sucks. All right. Fuck. Tumblers are the dumbest goddamn thing in the world. Like that particular one that was a Christmas gift, but... You know... It... My story can wait. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has for now. Come. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. I don't know what that means. But anyways, as I was going to say, it's a Christmas gift, so you know, I'm always... Oh, that's no good. I'm always grateful for any Christmas gift. You, you know, you give me a pack of Tic Tacs and, as a Christmas gift, I'll be happy. You know, because I try not to ask for anything. I don't usually expect anything. So when I get a Christmas gift, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dog, thank you. But, personally... Who the hell was that? Oh, we're not done here. Some shit went down in this room, huh? Anyways. Oh, are those scratch marks? Bruh. That's fucked up. Anyways, that's what I was gonna say. So, like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm happy for the Christmas gift. Thank you, obviously. But personally, I think tumblers are the dumbest fucking thing. Is this what's making all that fucking awful noise? Or is that just this room? Copper tube. Cool. Well, I'm getting out of this room because this room is none too friendly. Alright. Oh, quit all your chain rattling. And... That's weird. So I have a copper tube. Don't know what that's about. Oh. What's behind door number fun? Alright, demons. Oh. No demons, necessarily. Just a dead guy. What's up, dead guy? You gonna get me demonetized? Aw, oh, hell yeah! Check that out! I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Not now, Alexander. I'm busy fucking my own channel over. I'm gonna check these drawers before I check that note. 
because that note seems like progress, and I'm worried if I make progress, monsters will show up, and I... Felt like I had more health items than that. Oh, another one of these! I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have that I have to do unto him what Agrippa did unto me. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Uh, this one first. Plague outbreak. These strange deaths among the servants and the prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened up for use as a means of transport, is plagued by a peculiar, peculiar, peculiar poisonous fungi. The victims seem to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by this calamity, but it is clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners die quickly, and their contaminated vitae lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start working on a vaccine. So Alexander's no doubt an asshole, but I do believe there is more to Daniel than what might meet the eye. Vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi-ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Coolsies. Alright, uh, check this door. I'm going to go through this door instead. Okay, this door is just as bad. All right, well. <coughs> Good news is both doors suck. It's a whole pile of demonetization. What happened here? Did some guy get picked up by the legs and fucking slapped against the wall and his body exploded? Thin copper tube. No object to use item on. Alright. Is there nothing in that room? What's the deal with this guy? Can I, uh... Ah! Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to stab you in the dick there. Alright. Uh, what's up in here? Nothing good, sounds like. Ugh. So, I'm sorry. What is there to be done about these rooms? I cannot... It cannot penetrate the skull. What about this? The hand drill broke because of no further use. Okay. I'm going to assume. Alright. Alright, so. The tube is thin, but not thin enough to penetrate my skin. Oh, I bet I know. Gross. You don't even know if that was the right blood. You just assumed. Now you probably have, like, hepatitis or something. No need to inject the blood again. Alright, well, I guess that's, uh, Dunsies. How did I know? Surely he wouldn't assume that I came in here. He assumed that I came in here. So it was, did he just bust down this door or did he only bust down the first door? 
Eh, what does he know? Trick question. The answer is nothing. I can hear him in that room for sure. Oh, I'm not doing... I'm not doing so hot. Yeah, I'm just not doing well at all. Daniel, chill out. Right, so going insane is not a good thing. Daniel's not a, a ha happy boy right now. But I wish he would chill because he's actually fine. He's acting like he's not, but he actually is. But it's fine. The beautiful wild orchid seemed a testament to nature's strength, being able to grow inside Brennenberg. Alas, it was Alexander's studies and care which enabled the flower to blossom. Daniel, will you stop being insane, please? What are you even fucking worried about? We've got this, my guy. Just you and me against the world. You, never, you don't even have to worry about the poison mushrooms now. My guy? See? Not even a goddamn problem. Or just... Stip, step, stamp, stomping right on down here. To the sewer! Like, what's the worst that could happen here? Henry Bedlow went to class carrying the anger of his bitter mother. He never cried. He made the other, he made others cry instead. Pain is like that. You either become sad or you become angry. Henry always chose the latter. As pounding and hands are shaking, but at least I'm not losing my fucking mind anymore. All right. I'm sure that this won't go poorly at all. Oh, I see the mushrooms finally. Hey, get the fuck on out of here. So, he went, so I'm going to assume I have to shut that off to go that way. It's just what I assume. What have we here? Is this anything of use or is that just some pipe? Just some pipe. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. Well, it's fine, I'm sure. Alright. Dead ends, it seems. Real splishy splashy. Probably not good. Probably uh, definitely gives away my uh, position. What do we got over here? We got a ladder. Busted ladder. That was loud. Nothing that I can do anything about doesn't look like. Anything in here? Nope. No, nothing in there. Just some... The fuck was that? Just some creepy rumblings. Alright, I don't see anything. So I'll assume there's nothing. Oh, what's this door then? You're gonna give me some kind of instruction here? Oh, this door just opens. That's probably not good. A lot of noise being made in here. Oh, how am I supposed to know what this is all about, then? More than a half lantern worth of oil, you say? Well... Um... Alright, cool. That gave me a memento. The two levers control the noisy machine.
What happened if I slide that one there? Is that what I want? Well, that's the least noisy, so I'm going to assume that's good. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that does. Oh, that's the opposite of good. I'm sure hiding right by these poison mushrooms will do me lots of good. I'm sure that motherfucker out there doesn't even know that I'm in here. How could he? Why would he? He doesn't. Fuck him. Did he leave? Looks like it. Looks like he left. Splendid. All right. Now we can continue on our way. Which way was that? This way. How's my sanity? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. But that's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. My ladder's still busted. That way is still collapsed. So, that's good. Consistency is nice. Alright. So now, the only thing left to do is go in the direction that the monster initially went when I entered the sewers the first time. Yeah, see, I slowed that thing down significantly. So I'm going to guess there's levers on the other side that will slow it further. What are you doing? Let me go! Let me take me! Nobody ever returns! Okay, so that sounded like Daniel. Interesting. Interesting. See, I'm going to assume that there's some. Oh, a tinderbox. Some levers over here. Well, that looks like a lever. Oh no, it's a busted pipe. Pipe seems to be loose. Picked up. Pipe. So, can I shove that in the thing then? So, oh, so I slowed it down enough to shove the pipe in there. Okay. That works, too. That's interesting. I, every time I sit down to play this and do another episode, I always feel like I have done things out of order, but it always seems to come together, so maybe not. All right. So we're going to go shove the pipe in this thing and nothing bad's going to happen to us. Uh Crouch Daniel. All right. Hell yeah. Progress. A slight headache. Cool. So where's them monsters? Oh, I guess there are none. Good. Well, surely there couldn't be any on this side, because the th the thing was in the way. You can't, can't get over here until I break it. Duh. This guy's gonna be over here. Oh. I see, uh... Man. I don't know how I'm supposed to stand against the 
Shadow, if you fuck this guy up. Man, these things are real fucked up looking. Ah, I got this. Alright. So, what about that? What do I do now? Hi! Can you let me by, please? Ah! Gave you a hand. Alright, I uh, guess I'll turn around. Okay, well. Anything in mementos? Nope. Alright, interesting, interesting, very interesting. Now I got something to mementos. A barred gate was torn down by that creature. By what creature? By what creature? Oh, that creature. That's not good. By that creature that's totally not going to come in here. Except, there he is. That creature that does not see me. Because he's an asshole. And I probably don't want to get hit by him, because apparently he is not only an asshole, but a heavy hitter. But you know what, that's actually fine, because I'm actually well over on time for this episode. So I'm going to leave this one here. And to go see what the fuck that guy's up to in the next episode. But, if you liked this video, uh, excuse me, please click like to let me know that you did. Subscribe today if you're not already. If you are already subscribed, then you better have rung the notification bell. Otherwise, you run the risk of missing uploads. And, like, what the fuck's that about? But, anyways, I'll see each and every one of you in whatever video comes next. Goodbye!